Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. We're out here in the orchard today and we are moving some trees around. So let me go ahead and do some quick explanation here. So we went ahead and pushed out all the old trees out of our first block here in the front block of the orchard. And whenever we first bought the orchard back in 2013, uh, our first season was 2014, we went ahead and replanted a bunch of trees in between the older trees. And you know, having no experience, we didn't think about whenever these die out, we gotta replace these. So these trees are six years old, seven years old now, and they're just now starting to come in production. So instead of going ahead and pushing them down and replanting them, we're gonna go ahead and move them to the back of the orchard on a row here we have, we push out the old trees. So <coughs> yeah, we're just, there's about 20 trees or so, they have, we have to move and in fact actually I got a tree right there in front of the tractor and Adrian is right there he is digging the holes and I am coming through and putting the trees alrighty so this is where we are moving them and as you guys can see here they are looking nice so we just have to come through and replace those but Adrian he's out here working he is re-digging these holes pretty big re making the holes nicely there's a lot more rock back here so this is pretty good what we're doing here so he's just out here digging and I am bringing the trees with the tractor so alrighty so this tree was it's been here for seven years and since there's no more older trees here we're gonna go ahead and move this all we do is get the excavator here on the skid loader and just kind of dig around it and we have a pretty hard fragile pan about two foot down so our roots usually stay in the first 16 inches so we don't have to dig too deep here but Adrian's gonna go ahead and dig and make the uh, soil around the roots real loose Alrighty, so on this tree is already dug and as you can see here whenever we get done digging it's kind of loose already I mean you can move the tree by hand usually whenever it's I mean whenever the roots are intact you couldn't do this but now I'm gonna get the power forks on this tractor and come and lift it up All right, so I just gonna go ahead and cover up these roots and we'll come back with the skid loader in the bucket whenever he, Adrian gets done digging and compact it nicely. Then we'll bring the tank of water tonight and fill it up, but that's it. That's how we transplant older apple trees. So, so we got Mr. Isaac. Sir. He is uh, home from school, quarantined for uh, two weeks here and we put him to work. Yeah, so he's supposed to do homework and homework equals work at home yes sir so yeah we're just moving them getting that front block ready to plant
Alrighty, so we just got done planting all the trees, transplanting them, and there was about 30 something, I believe. And now I got the water tank behind me, and I'm just gonna go ahead and water every tree so the roots will have some kind of moisture before it rains again. It's supposed to rain again on Friday, but until then, we're gonna go ahead and water them, make sure everything is ready and go nicely. So. Alrighty, so it is the next day now and Adrian has been out here all day cleaning up this front field. We're gonna go ahead and start marking everything and start drilling the holes. While Isaac and I have been beating in the post for the high density apples, so we are hoping by this afternoon we go ahead and start planting the high density apples while Adrian is still working out here. It is nice and, I mean, it's starting to get nice and clean. So hopefully we'll get done here before we know it. So it's been a long day. Isaac and I got done beating in those posts. As you can see here, Adrian is still removing some trees that they're getting blocked on ready to go. I am actually in our small track now. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out where all the holes are gonna go for in block one. And hopefully tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and start planting. But it's been a long day here on the farm. It's got, it, it was 84 today. And believe it or not, I already got a bit bad sunburn, you know? So it's like, just look at that. But you know what summer summer is here or spring is here we got to start spraying our strawberries i still got to keep in keep up with the uh, sprays on the trees on the orchard and stuff so it's just um it's gonna be busy spring busy summer but it is what it is we're gonna get everything done so this is gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe and go to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. We will see you next time.